What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Bardia and today I'm gonna to be talking about something super important, something super valuable that anybody who's in business is gonna to wanna to tune in and listen to. Now, Wake Up Wealthy, we talk a lot about mindset and performance, but today we're gonna to go business focused and we're gonna be talking about lead generation. And so the topic of this video is to how to easily acquire more leads for your business. Now, if you're in the online space or if you have a business, right, the name of the game is to get leads and sales, right? Sales is the lifeblood of any business. It's, a, it's what keeps business going. It's what keeps business alive. It's what allows you to expand and grow and reinvest and continue to, to just grow. And so one of the, the biggest problems really everybody has to some degree is acquiring more business, uh, more leads and sales. And so what's the most effective way? What's the simplest way? What's the lowest hanging fruit that anybody who has a business can take on to start easily acquiring more leads and sales? And so the answer to that question is this. The number one way to be able to start acquiring more leads and sales for your business is to create a tangible asset. A tangible asset that you can then create and then give out to prospects or to your followers or to run ads to so that you can acquire information. And so let me give you an example. A tangible asset could be like a free video training. It could be, it could be a webinar. It could be a downloadable guide like a PDF or an ebook could be a free mini course, it could be you know, a Google Doc, it could be a Google Sheet, whatever, right? It can come in a lot of different forms, but the idea behind this asset is that number one, it solves a problem or pain point that your customers have or your prospects have so that they'll wanna get that information. The next thing is it gives them a solution to one of their problems, right? So same thing, it's either solving a problem, it's you know talking about some pains that they might have and it's leading them to the transformation. And so if you can create a guide, a PDF, an ebook, a piece of training, anything that is centered around the pain points and the transformations or the solutions that your prospects want, it is then likely that they're gonna be willing to give their name, their email, and their phone number to you um, in exchange for that asset. And when they give you their name, email, and phone number, you now have acquired a lead. And so at that point, they've now moved into your ecosystem, they've moved into your funnel. And at this point, now that you have your, their contact information, you can continue to give them more information over time and to really begin to nurture that relationship, right? And so we live in an in a digital world nowadays, right? We are becoming ever increasingly more dependent on social media and the digital world, right? Everybody's on social media, everybody's growing their follower count, putting out content, right? Creating a personal brand. And so understand that you, being able to leverage that in a way where you can start putting out information, assets, uh, or what I like to call IOIs, or like indicators of interest, you can begin to identify who's actually interested in the content that you have or in the information that you have. So if you have a business, and it really doesn't matter what niche you're in, whether you're an artist, whether you're a fitness coach, whether you, you know, are a designer, or whatever it might be, right? Being able to, to, to put out content, like for example, on your story, and ask people, like, you know, gauge, you know, do polls, ask questions. Where are you at with this? Is this something you're interested in? Would you like to see a free guide that shows you how to do X, Y, Z, right? Would you like to see a free guide on how I built, you know, a $100,000 coaching business in, in 12 months? Would you like to see, uh, you know, my holdings in cryptocurrency? Are you invested in cryptocurrency, right? There's so many different things that you can ask uh, where you can put out content, you can, you can, put out an indicator of interest, so you can get feedback, and then from there, once you have a sample size of data, then you can reach out to those people and be like, hey, I created this free guide, I created this free asset, would you wanna learn more about this? And once you get their contact information, at that point you can start sending out a newsletter, you can start sending out text message blasts, you can now corral those people in to a specific destination, right? And so this is where your funnel comes in, this is where the back end lead, lead nurturing system comes in, and so, Really to simplify it down, to acquire more leads and more sales for your business, what you need to do is to create assets, right? As we live in an increasingly dependent digital world, your ability to create assets and to have them online where you can send people to and eventually have them 
move to a call to action, whether it's booking a call or buying a product, that's the way you get more leads and sales. Getting more leads and sales through social media is about creating an asset that's valuable, that solves problems, that hits on pain points, and, and, and creates or, or promises a transformation. And then you wanna get that in front of the right people who have those pains and who are interested in that transformation. You collect their information and now their leads. And from there, you begin the nurturing process of establishing more authority and credibility, really positioning yourself as the expert so that they trust you. And eventually when you make that ask, if you've developed enough rapport, if you've developed enough trust with them, they will see you as the go-to source and be willing to transfer money over to you in exchange for that transformation that you promise. And so that is one of the most effective ways to generate more leads and sales for your business. If you are in business and that was helpful for you, comment below. If you have any questions about it, let us know. Other than that, like and subscribe to the channel for more business-focused content. We'll see you in the next one.